The city is a dark and dangerous place at 4 a.m. Tailor made for dealers, pimps, and muggers. The scale of society. The police do their best, but they can't be everywhere. In fact, they rather avoid some neighborhoods altogether. In these ghettos, only one man stands between the innocent and the guilty. Heaven help the innocent. Nah, I knew I'd get it with a little practice. You know, I gotta work on my round the world. Say, what gives? Oh my, I better head take a closer look. Better head and I. No, no, please, don't take him my truck. She's all I have to make my living. Don't worry, Pops. We're just gonna take it for a joyride. Then we'll dump it in the river, and you'll collect a bundle on the insurance. But I got no insurance. They don't cover me, because I gotta pick up my fruit on the waterfront. Yeah, this is a rough neighborhood and even a rougher life. Climb aboard, kitties. Not so fast. You don't go anywhere with that truck. At least not until you have a decent haircut. Who the hell are you? The barber of Seville? Just mind your own business, Goomba, and you won't get hurt. Ah, but hair is my business. For instance, if you have long hair, someone can grab a handful of it, like so. Hey! Then you're at their mercy. So you see, the proper haircut is very important. Oh, thank you! Thank you, Paisan! My wife and children, thank you! That truck is my living! When you save that truck, you save my whole world! Your world? Hold on a minute, pal. If we're gonna be friends, we have to get one thing straight. This is Sinatra's world. You and me? We just live in it. Dooby dooby doo! We've been together! Da 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 doo! Man, where is that guy? I can't hold out all night. Hey, hey, Benny! That you, man? No, I'm afraid not, Link. But as you know, I've got the best stuff in town. Repairs! No! Yes. I'll kill that friggin' Benny. He must have told Repairs I've squealed on him. And when I find that pig, it's the end for him. No, man! Please, you gotta let me go! That monster will kill me if he gets his hands on me! Mm, try showing a bit more gratitude, Lang. Benny tells me you usually take about a nickel of the cheapest cut stuff he has. And here, I've got a dime of pure horse, all cooked, drawn, and ready to shoot. Mmm, absolutely free. Mmm, please, Walter, hold him steady. We don't want to hurt him. Morning, Lieutenant Galloway. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, Galloway, over here. What is it, Silver? I think I got something here you might be interested in. And then he walks away singing, just like Sinatra. Looks like your big-headed loony struck again, and this time he's a do-gooder. Anyone, uh, anybody killed? Well, no, but we got a guy in intensive care- If it is, Big Head, then it's your problem. I got my own nightmares to deal with, so don't bug me! Damn that silver! Doesn't he realize I've got plenty of cases of my own to deal with? Good morning to you, too. I'm serious, Lionel. Why the hell does he bar me with his problems? If you're talking about that vigilante case, I hear it might be Big Head. And after all, we do have lots of experience with that freak. Maybe he just wanted your opinion. I'll tell you my opinion. My opinion is no way that ugly mutant ever became a vigilante. He's a cold-blooded killer. Or have you forgotten? Easy, Lieutenant. I'm a good guy. Sorry. I'm just cranky. Didn't get much sleep. I can see that. You really look like hell. Oh uh, yeah? Well, you're ugly. That reminds me. The ME wants to see you. Yep. That's Link, alright. And you sure it's an OD? Well, of course we won't be sure until we get the blood and tissue analysis back. But I've seen lots of these in the past few months, as Lieutenant Kellaway knows. In other words, it's an OD. Thanks for calling us, Edelman. I'll remember you at Christmas. Damn! What the hell was he talking about? How do you know how many ODs he's seen lately? You'd know what he was talking about if you'd read through that whole Repez file like I asked you to. But, Lieutenant, I was assigned to your homicide cases, not narcotics. As far as I'm concerned, those ODs are homicides, and Repez is responsible. Hitmen usually go after squealers, but they all have special ties, right? Uh. Warren only went after witness protection candidates, Dr. Mott went after plea bargainers, and Repez, being a drug dealer, gets only junkies. The most prolific squealers of all. And since Link gave us the info we need to bust Repez... Now you're getting it. Repez gives the user far too much heroin, so it looks like an accidental overdose. And even if anyone suspects, these poor guys are just junkies, so nobody really cares. Almost like a string of perfect murders. Almost is right, but killing Lank was a mistake. I'm gonna go pick up that bastard for some serious questioning, and then we'll see if we can't make some charges stick. 
You already had your chance for that, Lieutenant. I suggest you steer clear of Mr. Rapez. His attorney is just itching to slap you with a harassment complaint. On the other hand, if you have evidence enough to convince a judge to issue a warrant... Is that what you came down here for, Lister? To give us some advice? Or is the medical examiner's office where you pick up your best dates? Your captain said you'd be down here. There's still a little matter of some missing heroin. Since you two seized that heroin in your arrest of Rapez, the district attorney would like to have a word with both. So what the hell are you trying to pull, you slimy bastard? Now, now, Lieutenant. Let's try to keep this friendly. See you tomorrow at noonish. Ta-ta! What a day. I thought it'd never end. Rapez wipes out in our attic, and I'm catching all the crap. Well, tomorrow I'll have to face the firing squad. But tonight, I'm calling the shots. Now we're cooking. Ah, sweet. I guess that's why they call it lung candy, eh? Hello? Clancy's Pizzeria? I'll take one large pie, extra corned beef and cabbage. Hold the shamrocks. Uh, maybe I've got the wrong number. Is this Lieutenant Kellaway's residence? Yeah, yeah, this is Kellaway. Just clown around, that's all. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I hope you don't mind my calling you at home. But when I couldn't reach you at the station, I talked to your mother. She lives downstairs. Ah, oh, so this is Kathy. No problem. Is there something I could help you with? Well, I've been reading the papers, you know, about this mass vigilante, and I have to say, I'm kind of worried. Oh, I see. You think Big Head's back in town. The investigating officer seems to think so, too. But I figure this new guy's a copycat of some kind. You gotta remember that Big Head guy was a first-class scumbag. I mean, he was a killer. And while I'm not crazy about vigilantes, they have good intentions at heart, so to speak. Yes, I suppose you have a point there. Still. Still? Still what? Nothing. Everything you say makes sense. Thanks for your time, Lieutenant. You really set my mind at ease. He obviously thinks I'm crazy, and the mask I gave him is harmless. If he tried on the mask, he'd know who Big Ed really was. Besides, he's no killer. Jeez, the cover is bare. Maybe I'll eat out tonight. Hell, why not make it a night out on the town? Guess I'll do anything for junk. Last year, I wouldn't have come within ten blocks of this neighborhood. Now I'm too strung out to be afraid. Too strung out and too stupid. Hey, what the hell is this? He said he was only bringing a dime, and now he's talking to somebody else? Hmm, I told you I don't have what you're looking for, so please leave me alone. If you ain't dealing, what in the hell you doing in this neighborhood, my man? I'm waiting for a friend. Oh, I wouldn't exactly call us friends, but thank you for waiting for me. Hmm, what is the meaning of this? Let's just say I don't believe you're waiting for a friend. In fact, I don't believe you have any friends. Clever. Very clever. One customer at a time, right? With only one dime on you, we can't prove you're dealing at all. Hmm, I don't know who you are, or who you think you are, but you regret this little fiasco almost immediately. Maybe, but not as fast as you're gonna regret it. Or do you think this heat is made of licorice? Hmm, <laughs> it's not possible. That should have killed him. <laughs> Boy, what a headache. Mm, kill him, you idiot. Kill him now. Golly, this is like being drunk and hungover all at once. Let me guess, you pump iron, right? What a coincidence, I pump lead. And that's what I call a workout. Wanna try a set, pusher? Mm, what the hell are you? Oh, real nice. Insult me, why don't you? Most folks would be begging for mercy at this point, but I guess you just want to be different. Well, shut my mouth. Whoa, Nelly! Hey, pal, you got an extra butt? Oh, look what you did to my new suit. This stuff will never wash out. You are in trouble now, Buster. Just give me a second to catch my breath, and then you'll really be in trouble. I know, I know. You said a butt light. Jeez, I can't seem to remember what I came down here for. Ah, that's it. Zipper your dude, I'll zip it today. Senior Rapaz is getting away. No, please don't shoot me. I'll do anything you say. I have lots of money. You can have it all. Only don't shoot me. Save your breath. And you thought I was gonna shoot you. That's rich. <laughs> yeah, yes, how silly. After all, you're a reasonable man. Listen. I'd love to stay in chat, but I gotta get moving, okay? Uh, yes, by all means, don't let me keep you. And try to relax, pal. You're sweating like a horse. 
Mm, all right, I'll try. Uh? Come on, you can't take her, bastard. It's after 7 a.m. Callaway here. Morning, Lieutenant. Sorry to wake you up, but Repez has been killed. Well, if you're calling to tell me I'm a suspect, fine. But if you're calling to say we're taking the case, you're crazy. I'm glad he's dead. Sorry, sir, but we have to take it. It's definitely Big Head. Can't be a copycat, because Repez's bodyguard beat the hell out of him. Even blew his brains out. And Big Head kept coming. It's him, all right. Wait. Wait just a minute. How do you know about all this? Oh, didn't I tell you? We have a witness. 